Hello everybody, Alex B here today, and you may notice, as I said yesterday, my setup has a little bit changed, but it's not about my setup today, it's about we're going to do some getting preparations, um, rather, for the HP computer that's supposed to be coming tomorrow. Uh, the overview today will be, we're going to make a Windows 7 uh, flash drive bootable, um, we're going to get the RAM together, we're going to get the processor, and we will be getting the hard drive together. So, let's do this. I am uh, I am downloading my copy Windows 7 right now. I do have a product key. I'm just downloading the ISO from Digital River. Uh, I'm downloading Windows 7 Ultimate, which I will go into the um, ISO and change it so I can install any version because I have a, um, I have a uh, product key for Home Premium. So, let's do this. Okay, people. So, in my hands, I have... If I can get... Yeah. I have two sticks of Samsung DDR2 RAM, one gigabyte each. Now, I know one of them is bad, but maybe it's just because of the computer I tested it in, but both of these are the exact same. As far as I know, they're both the same. We're going to be testing them in both the Dells to make sure... Well, no, we won't test them because then... Uh, they're Dell's. I mean, HP and Dell are clearly different. And that's pretty much it for this one. But first, I'm going to go get the HP machine. We will... Yeah. What am... Okay, first things first. I'm the realist. No. First things first, we will be going on to the, the um, Dell 330. Lower my tripod here. I don't know if you guys can see that. We're going to go on to the Dell 330. And then we will be making a Windows 7 USB key. So, we want to zoom in there so you guys can see that. And drop the base. Bow, wow. Not happening. Man, I have to drop this tripod down a lot. Alright. Actually, we could probably move it over there. <laughs> move my chair out of the way. Actually, since I'm going to be sitting here, I think we're good. So, I'm going to go get my USB key. Why don't I call it a key? A USB flash drive, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the USB key right here, and we're going to slap it into my Dell 330. Since there's no audio, it doesn't play the sound, so what we're first going to do is it's installing the cruiser. I'm going to turn off my flash so my battery doesn't drain. There we go. Alright. It's installed. Now we're going to go down here. Okay. Uh, Multi-boot. This is just crap that I don't think needs to be done. So we're actually going to delete all of this except my um, malware bytes. I'm actually going to move that to docs. Alright, it's going to move that, but in the meantime, I'm going to plug my camera into charge so I don't die out in the middle of freaking recording. Oh, perfect. My cord barely reaches. Barely. Or in. There, I'm plugged into record, uh, power. And it's starting to rain or snow outside. That's perfect. Not. So... Meantime, I gotta dip under here. All right. So, um, oh man, I bumped the tripod. For that. Okay. So what we wanna do? Actually, you know, what? screw this. Delete. Yeah. Three items a second. Wow. USB 2.0. <laughs> My ass. Okay, in the meantime, we're going to check out the uh, copy, where is it, new folder, Windows 7. Alright, let's make, let's go into sources. Now, I do want to look up an ei.cfg file. Google Chrome here. Uh, CFG. Excuse me.
Meantime, I might as well play some music on my iPod here. Keep in mind, this is not an iPod Touch. It's just an iPod Classic from, like, 2005. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Play Highway to Hell. Pull it into my dock. I hear the hard drive on it. <laughs> So we will be we need to download this. Banana. Yeah, that CFG download. Okay, Google is being very slow. There we go. No. I want that. Man. Screw it then, we won't do it. Let's see if that deleting is done yet. Nope, it's taking for freaking ever. 19 items per second. 60 items? No, 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 no. Come on, go up. I'm on the highway to hell. But the things you're gonna need for this, you're gonna need Rufus. Let me actually turn up the brightness on the monitor here. Open Dell Display Manager. Oh yeah, it's an eco mode. Uh -huh. Off. Uh -huh. Brightness is coming up here. Perfect. We're gonna use Rufus or Rufus Portable. I don't see a difference. Unless I think one of them you have to install. Oh wait, no, they're both the same. We're gonna change that NTFS. When you when you do this, you want to change the file system to NTFS and quick format, and then it'll ask you for an ISO image. You use that, but first, make sure this is done deleting. And what's AVG complaining about? Allow. All right, come on. What the? Close. What does it say? Uh huh. It's at 1.76 megabytes left. How are we recording? We're doing good already. Alright, come on, seriously. Name, a folder, desktop. Wow. Okay. Seriously, come on, load. It's taking forever to delete an, a 700 kilobyte file. But then that's what Minecraft's for. Cars Java, never mind. And no, I hate Internet Explorer. You know what? Screw it. So, uh, you want to change it to NTFS, as I said. And you're going to change that to whatever you want. So I'll name it Windows 7. Find my bootable ISO. Scanning it. Start. My voice cracked. That'll be taking a while, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go grab the um the Intel Pen AMD processor. And worst comes to worst, the um oh man. Worst comes to worst, the um computer is not compatible with the Pen AMD. So I will be uh, right back. I can find the pause button. Okay people, so what we've got here is a crap load of computer parts that were out in my garage. Including one of my one of my keyboards, which I don't even know if this thing works anymore, but it will be used uh, because it's an HP and OCD. When it comes to this, is it's got to be all brand. I mean, I I get driven nuts when you know something is not matching the other. Gateway keyboard here. One of my broken cameras. Raspberry Pi. The HP motherboard, a fan, all this other crap, and here's all my other RAM. It's ice cold, so we're gonna move that into the window. Oh, that's the wrong motherboard. I, damn, I'm missing one of my other cameras, and I can't find it. But that's not this video. We gotta uh, take the Pentium D out of this um 
this um motherboard. So I have to just grab a pair of scissors because I'm too lazy and to go get a um screwdriver. I'm just gonna do this this way. Hey, it works. You know what I mean? And you know, worst comes to worst, it's not compatible and it has a crap bit. Then I could probably put on the list. The Celeron D would probably be worse than the Pentium 4. Then again, I don't know if the Pentium, I meant the Celeron D is a uh, solo core or not. I might actually want to look that up. Alright, so it's almost done. We can just twist that. Take the Pentium D out of its socket. There it is. 3.3 gigahertz, and it is a um, dual core. That I know definitely. Move that there. Um, oh, here's the charger for my phone. That. Hmm. No rest of this garbage in here. Oh man. All right, now we can just put this on my floor. Or on a table. Both is the same. Now, if we move back over here, drop it low, low, low. Gotta kick my iPod on, my uh, tripod. I don't know why I keep seeing iPod. I don't have one anymore. Okay, get into gear here. Plug it in. My battery doesn't die on me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, so I'm gonna be back when this thing is done. So be right back. Okay, you know, what we're actually going to do is when this is done doing its thing, we're going to um, install Windows 7 as soon as I move because I'm such a fat bleep. Um, and I, I can see the comments already. Oh, yeah, you are. You dumb bitch. Um, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to install Windows 7 on this because it's much more stable than Windows 8 is on here. As much as I like it, it's not ethical enough. But in the meantime, we are going to check out... Because that's almost done. We're going to check... Where is it? Damn. Can't find it. Got Chrome. We're going to check about here on my, my channel. Can actually move my monitor to the side here. Man, the internet speaks all. Oh yeah, also, I've got my uh, little Wi-Fi adapter ready for the computer itself. We're 36 subscribers. I want to hit 50 by the end of let's see, March, end of April. X out of Chrome and Chrome's not responding. I'm gonna pause my TV because untold stories of the ER is going. Pardon the hell out of me. <laughs> I should move that over. So my phone's vibrating. I'm actually gonna plug it into a different, not my phone, camera. I keep calling it a phone because I um camera because I'm used to using my phone a lot. <laughs> Man, my camera's getting hot. It's almost done here. We're gonna back it back it up. Finalizing NTSF NTFS fix up. Alright, so now that's done. We're gonna adjust the camera here. We're gonna boot it straight from the USB. Close. Make sure I don't have anything here. I don't care. Back. Uh-huh. Hopefully, goodbye Windows 8. Let's restart. I wish this monitor was touched because then I go down. <laughs> Restarting here. I can hear the hard drive grinding. By the way, the 100 gigabyte drive is actually in this machine itself. It's hooked up to an IDE to um, PCI card so that I can launch up Windows XP. Which I will show you guys before I install this. Well, I'm not going to show you XP, but I'm going to show you what... um. 
that it has a, a PCI IDE card in it. So we're going to go F12. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. I'm actually going to kill it for a second. For everything to power down. There we go. Alright, we're good there. I'm going to F12 it. Oh yeah, F12 it real good. See Ultra 100 uh, Promise Technology, and then there's the two hard drives. You may be asking, you know, why can't I just install Windows 7 right now? A, it's a Dell machine that I'm using right now, and two, there aren't any drivers for this uh, PCI card for Windows 7. There are for Windows Vista, but not for 7. Alright. Windows is loading files up. Man, the fan just went, like, started spinning high. I'm going to check on my other machine over here, though. Load that up. All right. Come on, seriously. Let it go. The hub. Oh, man. All right, come on. You can do it. You ran... You This computer has been running... It's ran XP, it's ran Vista, it's ran 7, and it's ran 8. So I know it can run 7 just fine. Call me an idiot, but when I first got this computer with 2 gigabytes of RAM in it, which is the max, no, 4 gigs is the max, but it only has 2 RAM DIMM slots. It can, I put 64-bit OS on here, not knowing that it needed a requirement of at least 4 gigs. So now we're in here. It loaded the drivers from the monitor. So my mouse and keyboard work, so we're going to hit install now. Now EI.CFG should be gone. Okay, we're going to go home premium because my computer behind me is running professional. And I'm more of a fan of home premium, but... Everything's already set on my machine, so we're going to go here, Windows 7 Home Premium, uh, Advanced, wait for that to load. Um, you know what, instead we're going to go Windows Old, do that. It's copying that, I'll be back when that's done. Okay, peeps, so it just got done with its completing installation thing. I have to exit out of this thing that my TV is saying. Exit. Just kill it for now. So, my name is Jeff. No, not happening. I'm joking. Uh, Alex. Alex Dell Opt 330. Actually, eh. Alright, that's good. Um, and just any. I'm not going to do this now. And we, uh, I'm in Illinois. Illinois, sorry. Is it 723? Yeah, it is. Windows 7 Home Premium. Finalizing your settings. Now, if we're good, we should get, we should get some sound on my speakers. And welcome. There's something about Windows 7 Home Premium that's, you know, it has a special place in my heart for some reason. Not the other editions of Windows 7, but Home Premium has a special place in my heart. Windows 7 Enterprise is the worst I've ever been with. It it, it doesn't want to install service packs. It never, you know, it doesn't really work whatsoever. But Windows 7 Professional, I have a couple product keys for that. So that's what I use in general. But I was lucky and I have happened to find a Windows 7 Home Premium one for 64, I mean, not 64, 32 bit. And we've got sound. Waiting for it to load up all the icons at the bottom. Okie dokie. 
First things first, we gotta download the driver for the, um, Wi-Fi card. I'm gonna slap this into my other computer. Media. Tech. Download. USB. Whatever the hell it's called. And in the meantime, we'll check out, because, as I said, we'll check out me Windows Media Center, shall we? Hello? I haven't used this thing in a while. Continue. Alright, I gotta download this driver. Oh, my hard drive just shell off. That's nice. Uh. There, look at that. See, let's see, games. In the meantime, we can close out of that. I do want to see if it did the updates correctly. Well, we're in Windows 7 Arrow, which is always good. It saw the, it saw the, um, uh, the, what, whatever it's called here. It sees everything. And we will change this to, what do I have here? The characters theme, I think it is. What is it? Scenes. I'm gonna change it up to change it every 10 seconds. Boom, now we gotta, now this thing's acting up. Ah. Get that download, do this thing here. Move this to the back of the computer. I can find the slot. Boom. In the meantime, I will just make sure everything's here. Run the Exploder, DVD Maker, Windows Update. It's all the hard drive. Let's go in here, Windows Old. We've got everything here. What I do want to do is... Wow. Oh man, it's not the right stuff here. Opening media, maybe this will work. And think so. Pulse, comfortably numb. Wow, it actually worked there. Meantime, I'm gonna check on this. Not even close to done, being done downloaded. Oh man, stop that download there. And everything speeds up. Meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to transfer some of the files so I can set up Office and stuff like that on here. So, Office Professional, what is this? x86. It doesn't see my flash drive. Why doesn't it see my flash drive? There we go. We've got power. We should copy that. Okay, what is this? View. List. Really? Really? Group by. Okay, I don't want this to group. None. View. Medium icons, paste. I'm gonna get office on this computer here.
Wow, good music. I hear you feeling down. I can't ease the pain. Yeah, but we can't really do anything unless we've got the driver. But that's pretty much this video for today. We've got the Pentium D processor, we've got the uh, RAM, the hard drives in there, and that's about it. So uh, I'm going to take my camera off the tripod here. Mother of God, it's taped down there really good. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And till next time, actually, till tomorrow, Alex be out.